we back with another reflection on the daily Vedantic. And I got this jacket on again, so you know it's going to be a wild one. For those that are tuning in without video, imagine me having a wild jacket on. And that's what I got. Quite comfy, quite warm. But it's always a wild episode when I got one of these on. And today ain't no different. And that's because today's episode is a reflection on something that I had never heard within any spiritual discipline. In the same way that the, the Gita is based on a this massive civil war and this conversation between a warrior prince and his charioteer right in the middle of the battlefield before the biggest battle of this 13-year civil war. And it is uh, that is unique in its own right. A spiritual text that takes place in the middle of a battlefield. Something else that I'd never heard before is that within this philosophy, it cautions us against becoming too attached to the philosophy. One of the Upanishads, the Ishavasya Upanishad says quite directly, attachment to the material realm is great darkness. Attachment to the spiritual realm is greater darkness. I always thought if you have a higher knowledge, we should all, well, reorient everything about us towards that and try to imbibe every moment of every day. And it actually was Swami telling me to dial it back. Just do one lecture a day. Don't read any other books. I was getting my hands on every esoteric text within Vedanta that I could for a while. And somehow word got back to him and he told me uh, to not short circuit um, and to just do one lecture a day and not to even take, don't even, he said, don't even take notes. Attachment to the material world is great darkness. Attachment to the spiritual realm world is greater darkness. It's so profound that this is outlined within the philosophy because it happens to be the case for anyone that takes any spiritual realm seriously or sincerely. There isn't anything that is nearly as fascinating as the concepts within the spiritual realm. We're talking about eternity, eternal bliss, eternal peace. We're subjected to 2,800 advertisements a day in America on average, but no one's going to tell you that that car is going to give you eternal bliss. No one's even going to broach that cheeseburger is going to give you eternal peace. But that's what's being promised in the realm of spiritual philosophy within religious texts. That is the promise. So it actually is no wonder that we can find ourselves. In fact, maybe the default position when we start to take to a spiritual path and take to it seriously, perhaps the default position for many is, for all of us perhaps, if we're not careful, is the zealot. The overpassionate, overconfident, insecure apologist that is so biased in everything that they see, feeling like they have the ultimate truth. Feeling like, man, they're a few steps away from eternal bliss and peace. It is actually quite understandable why that is the default position because of what hangs in the balance. If you start to take these concepts seriously, nothing comes close to being as fascinating. But attachment to the concepts is great darkness. In fact, explicitly stated as greater darkness than attachment to wealth or pleasure. It is attachment just the same. One might be worldly, 
the other might be for the eternal, but it is attachment, selfish attachment, just the same. And it's the worst kind of darkness because you feel like, well, you feel like you are more noble than everybody else, more studied, more favored, wiser, and that is great, great, great darkness when we think we are the wisest person around. That's an absolute blindfold for anything that you can learn from anyone or any experience or any teacher. And that attachment, attachment to a book, to scholarship, to texts, to verses, to concepts, to ideas, that attachment keeps us from the truth. Because the truth isn't in the spiritual realm. The truth is not a book. The truth is not a concept. The truth is an experience. The thing that is sure to keep us from experiencing truth is thinking that truth is in a concept, is in a verse, or is in a book thinking that truth is in an idea in our heads. That keeps us from experiencing truth itself. Truth is not words, and it is not an attachment. It is an experience. That is today's reflection on the Daily Vedantic. We'll see you next time.